Another new feature here that applies to Google phones, but also other Android phones. I saw this one was making the rounds in my feed. You can, it's uh, going to turn any Android phone, most Android phones, into earthquake detectors, giving you early warnings of seismic activity. This is, this is really interesting. I, I don't know much about earthquakes, but apparently very minor, very minor movements and vib vibrations can be detected well before an earthquake actually takes place. That they, that they can predict, okay, an earthquake's going to happen. And we all have these phones in our pockets that have surprisingly sensitive uh, mo motion-based sensors in them, uh, accelerometers and things like this. And you stick enough of them together and you have them working in tandem and they can pick up patterns mm -hmm. in movement. I guess when you put it on your desk or something, it's just idle. Like it's not shaking. And... The earth kind of... But even imagine you're, stand, you're standing up or sit, like I'm sitting down. What if it's in my pocket right now? And but you're, it, you're moving, aren't you? Am I? A little bit. And, but but the phone isn't going like... Yeah. I'm moving my hand around. Maybe it is. Uh, let, let, look, Shake Alert gets data from over 700 size seismometers across California. And understandably, Android users in the state will be the first to get this feature. But when they sign up for it, called Android Earthquake Alert System, they'll be feeding data in too, as many seismology sensors. In effect, Google is growing its own network of Android phone owners who feed seismic data into the system, which can then sort it out to figure out if an earthquake is happening and warn users appropriately. So this will apply to places that don't even have proper seismometers. Seismometers making Google's phone-powered alert network the only advanced warning system in certain parts of the world. Hmm. So, so, I mean, I don't know. In this video... It's very uh, attractive to look at. It's very animated. You love the animation. Yes, I do. Look at this. It, Tells you what to do in a case of an earthquake. Shows the animals they don't like the earthquake either. Cool. Phones will send seismic data to the Android earthquake alert system, letting Google crowdsource enough information to determine when and where earthquakes are hitting and alerting Android users accordingly. Now, you obviously have to opt into this thing if you want to take part, uh, if you want to be a part of this huge network. And there are some questions that aren't answered here, like w the, does the phone have to be on a table? The battery or, issue. Or does it work if it's in your pocket? But... Presumably, they'll find a way to figure out which seismic activity to pay attention to. I mm. tend to think it probably looks different to an accelerometer if the whole place is shaking. Yeah. Versus uh, on your body or something more minor. But who knows? Either way, it's it's interesting technology if people opt into it. And as mentioned in the article, there are a number of places that don't have these early detection systems. And you can just sort of instantly through this application and the phones that are in people's pockets... You can have a network of sensors. Hmm. It's a pretty cool development. Very cool. I've never experienced an earthquake, by the way. I've never been been in an earthquake. So you wouldn't really opt in. I, mean, I don't have a reason to. I don't think we don't have earthquakes really, yeah. at least not significant ones over here. Hmm. You know what? I take that back. I experience. I have in California. I've experienced a California. small. Yeah, yeah, I've experienced a small, a very small earthquake. I was like, well. I was like, have I been drinking? Or It wasn't enough to say, oh, that's an earthquake. But then yeah. you find out after, oh, yeah, that was a minor. You look it up as a minor earthquake that you felt. Were you scared? No, because I thought I didn't think anything of it. It was oh. so minor.